so I apologize if it's bouncy. Uh, we are headed to uh, York, PA area, which is about an hour and a half south of me, uh, to look at another Model A Roadster pickup. Uh, we, we did a video recently where I helped a uh, local friend of mine, Joe, pull a real sweetheart of a Roadster pickup out of um, an old garage barn thing. And he got it running. He's actually driving that thing now. He called me the other day and said he drove it up and down his uh, his stone road that he lives on and said the thing starts, stops, drives, doesn't heat up. Really awesome. Uh, so I had a lead on a Roadster pickup at a local, not local, it's about an hour and a half away, like I said. Um, there's an auction in uh, outside of York, and I saw in the photos that there is a 2829 Roadster pickup that's taken apart. It's in pieces, but it looks to be all there in the photos. So uh, I'm taking a chance. It's rainy, it's cold, it's windy. We got a storm that came in today, of course, and I almost didn't go, but I said it decided why not hook the trailer up and we're booking it down the highway to get there uh, before it starts at 9 and we will see what happens. I'm hoping that uh, not too many people show up, but a lot of times what I've found is on rainy or snowy or extreme conditions for a farm auction, everyone shows up. That's because everybody thinks the same thing and thinks, ah, nobody's going to show up, I'm going to steal the stuff. So, uh, more than likely, it'll be a lot of people there, but you don't know if you don't go and you don't try. That's kind of it. So. Uh, I just figured I might as well hop in the truck and we, we go and see what's going on. So uh, I'm going to just kind of chronicle what I find and um, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, I didn't drag this trailer out here for nothing and we can drag some old Ford parts up on the trailer and have another fun little adventure. So uh, I'll show you guys when I get there in about, I think 20 minutes away, uh, when I get there I'll show you guys uh, what I find and uh, hopefully it's something really cool. Okay, so here's all the Model A stuff. They didn't advertise very well. So we walked in here and there is stuff everywhere. They only had like two photos of what was here. So all these Model A parts, just flathead stuff, flathead V8 stuff there. Bunch of rears. There's another Model A frame. There's a Roadster pickup that I saw in the corner of a photo with a bed on it a bunch of parts in it this is what I saw that they didn't advertise boom freaking Model T coupe amazing 26, 27 I believe Maybe 25. T coop. This is bitching. Oh my god. And over here is Roadster pickup cab and pieces. This thing is incredible. It looks like it's last. Fifty-four, fifty-eight, fifty-six. Look how look how clean this thing is. It's insane. Untouched. All original. So we got the original roof with the uh, original cloth roof is still sort of there. They put like a circus tent or tarp in the door on the roof to keep it from getting anything inside, which definitely saved it. Old paint. Back panel's a little banged up, and it's got this yellow, killer yellow paint right there. Really, really neat car. 
Let's see if we can snag it. Wasn't expecting to find this here today, that's for sure. Thought we were just buying some Model A carcass and parts, potentially. All right, here's the Roadster pickup body. And in the photos, there was no door shown. There's the grill. A little bit of rot at the bottom there. It's been repaired over the years, but there's a door. Bonneville. And by little, I mean not little at all. <laughs> Sitting sits 91. It's really cool steering wheel on this thing. Probably interests me the most is the neat steering wheel on this. Cool Bonneville though. Not my thing, but still really neat. Got it. Yeah, Bonneville. <laughs> it's got an engine. <laughs> it's there. Is it free? Well, <clears throat> in the rain. Here's our load. Got a couple Model A frames. Got this needle trailer, which is freaking falling apart already. Fabric's junk, so it's probably junk, but it might be a neat utility trailer. Has some cool stickers on it, and we got a crap ton of A bits just for building hot rods and stuff. Um, and got a bunch of 40 Ford wheels, it's pretty cool. Got a bed full of those, didn't pay much, and I think all in all, we spent maybe a hundred bucks today total, if that. So not a bad day rainy but what can you do didn't get the cars uh, somebody else there's another guy that I see it's at sales and swap meets all the time it's into this stuff too he buys and sells and uh, whatever and he liked the stuff a little more than I did today so this is all we got but it's still uh, better than sitting on the couch watching TV so that's uh, can't complain I showed you guys a shot of all the stuff we got. Uh, we're on our way home in the rain, and uh, today wasn't as uh, exciting as I was hoping for buying stuff, but this is part of the secret. People always wonder uh, how I find so much stuff. Well, there's probably, for every good find I have, I have probably 50, find, 50 times like this where I go and I don't buy very much or anything exciting. And uh, this is part of the fun of searching for this stuff. You, you go a bunch of times and uh, you don't find anything or anything great. And other times you go and you score and you get tons of really great stuff. So, uh, like I said, I got some, some good usable stuff for some builds, which is pretty cool. Uh, I didn't spend a lot of money, which is the key for the stuff I got. Uh, all in all, it was a pretty good day. So I'm going to get this stuff home, get it off the trailer, scavenge the things that are usable, and uh, pitch the stuff that is not. And uh, in the end, we had a lot of fun, found some good stuff, got to share with you guys another really neat barn find. Uh, this stuff's still out there in this part of the world. There's a lot of it hidden in barns and in garages still, and people think that this this, uh, these episodes are fake. We had a comment just recently where somebody said that the uh, Roadster pickup I got for Joe was fake. They said the show's fake. This stuff isn't fake. We just walked in and I showed you guys in this one how it was just sitting, uh, something that wasn't advertised. It's just there. I didn't, I didn't put this stuff there. It's out there. You got to go look for it, though. If you're sitting on your couch uh, watching TV, watching YouTube, you're not going to find this stuff. You got you to gotta hit the... Uh, hit the ground running and really knock on doors, check for public sales, all that stuff, and you never know what you'll find 
the stuff is out there, believe it or not. So I appreciate you guys watching. As always, uh, we do videos on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. And we appreciate it if you guys share, like, comment. If you like what you're seeing, we really do appreciate all the feedback that you guys give. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.